I first of all I saw the sign up here. <laughs> Um, Jeff said we have a surprise for you. I didn't realize it was going to be that kind of surprise. I said I don't know whether to laugh or cry. The most advanced state-of-the-art technology car. And uh, it has been a big challenge for Kawasaki's history. Kawasaki has been making the rolling stock over 100 years. We started in 1906. And this is the most complicated cars. And the more complicated and higher advanced car than the, our Shinkansen high-speed train in Japan. So it has been a uh, challenge, but uh, we are so pleased that we can present this completed car to the, to the uh, people of the, the collection. The rail car, is, yeah. it's yeah. probably one of, as, as, as Iwasaka-san mentioned, it's an uh, extremely complex car. We have both overhead catenary uh, as well as uh, third rail, different power sources, both um, east and west of New Haven that uh, make this uh, complex car, and we've added a whole lot of amenities like uh, Know, automatic announcements and the stations names will be displayed over here when we arrive at stations and the uh, uh, you know accessible bathrooms and it's a, it's a wonderful car. We're essentially conducting extensive uh, daily and nightly tests on uh, the, these are called the pilot cars and right now they're loaded with sandbags to simulate an average passenger loading so what they'll do is analyze ride quality various features that affect the performance of the train and uh, troubleshoot if they do find you know some areas they're deficient and whatnot. At some point when things do finalize and get the stamp of approval then we'll go on and conduct uh, the operational tests to put these things basically in revenue service. Uh, well we've been doing these tests since uh, the winter so you know pretty much um, it's been the past year that we've been doing these and uh, the operational tests they're going to run about 4,000 miles, and um, barring no major uh, failures, then pretty much those will be put placed in the service. And uh, if there are some significant uh, defects that are found, then the counter resets back to zero miles, and I'll have to pretty much run 4,000 miles of testing. Uh,